and welcome to the Miss Cooper Show Ponies channel and welcome to this week's vlog. We are going to be looking at the events of the weekend. We went out with West Norfolk Foxhounds for their opening meet. It started off as the most fantastic day, but it didn't quite go to plan. So I have been hunting with the West Norfolk Foxhounds since I was 16 and I'm now 28 for your information. Um, getting rather old. <laughs> um, I started off hunting with them when I had a little coloured cob. He was super safe. We actually ended up selling him to the riding for the disabled. He was such a good boy. And I've hunted Finley every year since I've had him and I've owned him for eight years. I also haven't actually fallen off him for eight years. I've only fallen off him once before. And funnily enough, I also ended up in A&E. So I'm gonna show you the footage of the event and you can see my lovely fall. Um, and I'll go through what happened after. <laughs> we went to come past. Yes, of course. Oh, it's very cute. <laughs> Am I right to come past? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I have one like that too. Yeah, she's she's babysitting. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
my tumble I was put into the recovery position the hunt was stopped and luckily there were some members watching us go over the jump so they ran over put me in the correct position I was unconscious they put me out of the way got me in a car called an ambulance and got me to safety um, I woke up in the car where I was being sort of remo removed from the field and I was like where am I? <laughs> and um, they also caught Finley and put him in their stables, which are nearby. So someone sorted all that. I was taken away in an ambulance and I had a full checkup at the hospital, CAT scans, organ scans, blood tests, everything, because obviously it was a head and neck injury. I don't know if that's that obvious from the video, but when he cantered over the top of the top of me, he um, knocked me in the back of the head, which made me unconscious. So I had a nosebleed and I was laying on the floor, floor sort of gargling nonsense and um, they scooped me up and saved me. So a huge thank you to West Norfolk for being so, so quick to the scene to um, come and help me and sorting my horse as well. So I went off in the ambulance on my own because you're only allowed one person, you know, you're not allowed people with you because of COVID. And my mum and my boyfriend came and sorted Finley out, washed him off, checked him over, and he was absolutely fine. I don't think he even noticed I had left. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what happened with the actual jump. I think he didn't quite focus onto it. And then he kind of just like last minute squiffed over it. I lost my balance over the jump. 
and just went flying over his shoulder and he just cantered over the top of me. So I was absolutely fine, just had a very sore head and a lot of headaches. So just some paracetamol and rest for me. But Finley hasn't been ridden since just because there isn't anyone else that rides him. He is very funny about who rides him. I only let select people come ride him. But um, I'm planning on getting back on today and just going for a walk. I'm not nervous or worried or scared. I actually don't remember falling off. I just remember chatting to some of the other members of the hunt and then waking up in a car. <laughs> so, to me, it's like nothing has actually happened. So I'm planning on getting him in today and just taking him for a quiet and peaceful hack just to make sure everything's all right with him and just say to him, I'm here, I'm back and I'm fine. <laughs> so we are back on board. Finley was fine to get on and everything. He's just a bit excitable and full of it, but that's because he didn't do anything yesterday. Um, he's been sat recovering along with me so he's just a bit bouncy and spooky, but that's his usual self. It's nice to just be back on and just get on with things really. I think if you don't get back on and you think about it too much, then it festers and it's on your mind and then you get nervous. So I just like to get on with things again. And I mean, I've had him a long time and it weren't his fault anyway, was it? No baby. It could never be his fault anyway, because he's a precious little angel, aren't you? <laughs> oh. So I'm going to take him for a hack um, around the block, just get some of the excess energy out of him, just make sure he feels all right and he doesn't feel lame or stiff or anything. Um, he had a good check over and he's had a good groom. Luckily on the day of the fall, um, my mum and my boyfriend washed him down, groomed him and checked for injuries anyway, and he was completely fine. So he seems to be in good fettle and ready to go out again, aren't you? Whether you're hacking at home, schooling, jumping, riding, whatever, accidents do happen. It wasn't anybody's fault. It was just one of those things. Um, we all feel completely fine. It hasn't put us off whatsoever. I cannot wait to go out hunting again with either Finley or Will. I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. Ah, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.